six years ago to the day that we immigrated to this country. It was July, July 13th, 1983. And it was, my dad was already here. And it was my mom, me, I was 13, Ned Ramsey, 14, and Nabil, 15. Three kids that God bless my mom, for any of you mothers, having three children in three years is an incredible task, <laughs> right? And so never would we have imagined we'll have that some. God would prepare for us in this great country with all the blessings we had, the greatest gift ever four years later, which is my sister Sophie.
because my uncle said to me, Sanya, the only thing that's going to knock you to sleep tonight is Valium. <laughs> and of course, that did not work. <laughs> but I came back to the U.S. And of course, my mom was thin, and we joyfully awaited the birth of Sophie. And when Sophie came into this world, despite all the fears of the doctors, telling my mom that she was gonna be born with different illnesses, different things that my mom refused to submit to any of the tests that can endanger her. She was born nine and a half pounds, 30, 23 inches. And she came out, she came out extremely healthy. And by the age of three, she was forming full she was forming full sentences and giving conversations. Well, yeah, well, by the year and a half, she was forming full sentences. By the age, wait, wait, mama. By the age of three, by the age of three, she was using vocabulary that some of me and my friends, and I won't mention which friend was here, <laughs> we had to look him up in the dictionary because she was using that big of words. When he's laughing, I think this, that's the guilty one. <laughs> right, Wendy? Yes. Okay, so it's not lying. I witnessed. Yeah. So, Sophie was one of the brightest children I have ever seen in my life. And she continues to be as bright as ever. And one of the brightest things that she's ever done is to choose Isa yes. as her husband. Oh, yes. <laughs> you know, I have to say, I was already extremely blessed by two beautiful sisters. Okay, two beautiful sisters. Okay, one is talking. One of them is talking. Is talking. Yeah, is talking. Beautiful sisters. Wait, wait, wait. So. I was, I was already blessed by two beautiful sisters, Sue and Lada. I don't like to call them sisters-in-law because that makes it like so legal and I'm already still traumatized from law school. <laughs> right there. Okay, so um, God had already blessed me with a beautiful sister, Sue, who took the initiative to plan this whole baby shower. Thank you so much, Sue, and to your family, and Rada, and the family, and even Ken's mom and Adrian, who have helped so many people. Really, thank you so much. But, Woo! but going back to that, and then God blesses us with Asa, who is the most compassionate, Amen. loving, uh, tender, sweet, sensitive man that I can call and I'm another brother to me. And so, Sophie, as you carry the legacy of my mom, and now you, 32 years later, okay, so I was 17 and she's 32, so you won't do the math, I'm 49. I'm 49 now, and Sophie's 32, and she's pregnant. So if my mom said no to life, none of us would be here at this baby shower today. And as my mom, and Sophie, please don't cry. I cry at least once to three times a day. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so used to it. He can't even ask me what I want for dinner. I cry. <laughs> so I want to say, as your sister and the big Michael to my beautiful niece, who already I know her name, even so Sophie already tells me she can neither deny nor confirm the name. <laughs> but... I want to say, may our Lord Jesus bless and protect you, Isa, and the baby, and may He always guide every footstep of uh, every footstep on your path. And I know if I don't know how many children you will have, but I know they will have the best parents ever. Yeah. I love you very much.